Hello there, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we will look at two DAX functions, summarize and summarize columns. First up is the summarize function. It is a commonly used DAX function for creating summary tables. It performs a group by operation as it allows us to specify one or more columns for grouping and then applies the aggregate function before populating a new table with the calculated results. We shall see this in a practical example. Let's type summarize and then add calendar table for the first argument. For the group by column, let's add day of the week name column. Next, add the name and then add total steps measure as expression. If we run this, we see the output as a summarized table in the results pane below. You can see the total steps grouped by day name. Next, we will look at the summarize columns function. This function is similar to the summarize function, but it is optimized for complex models and is considered more efficient. It operates on a filter context, meaning it doesn't require a table as its first argument. It allows for more flexible filtering and aggregation, including the use of calculate within the aggregation expression. Let's see the practical example. Let's type summarize columns and for the first argument pass the day of the week column as group by column. Next add name and then pass the expression total steps. If we run this, the output is a summarized table. We can add filtering capability as shown here and get summary table for weekend. Please note that this summarize columns function is identical to the summarized function, but is different. Like I said earlier, this operates on a filter context, meaning we can add filtering capability. As we have seen earlier, both these functions are used to create summarized tables from existing data, but their distinct handling of context and other features make them suitable in different situations. Here is the recap as we have learnt. The summarize function operates on a table context. It allows to add calculated columns by providing aggregation expressions. Use summarize when you need to control the table context and perform simpler grouping operations manually. It handles both row and filter context, providing flexibility in summarizing data under various conditions. Whereas summarize columns, function operates on a filter context, meaning it doesn't require a table as its first argument. It allows for more flexible filtering and aggregation, including the use of calculate within the aggregation expression. This has been proven to be a more efficient function for summarizing data. There is a lot of documentation available about these two functions. Hopefully this explanation would help you to use these two functions in a practical use cases. Thanks for watching.